Hello, this is Jay's Gear and Survival doing another air rifle BB gun review. Today I've got a couple 1938 uh, B model Daisy Red Riders. Um, lever action spring rifle. About 350 FPS claimed. Uh, these are very cheap BB guns to get somebody into shooting. Um, between the ages of <clears throat> 10 and 90. <laughs> uh, I'm an adult. Um, in my mid 20s and I love them. But they're easy to teach a kid to shoot for teaching safety. Um, they're maybe a bit big for small kids younger than 10 uh, but if you still want to teach a younger kid to shoot Daisy has the model buck I have a video coming up on that too and the, those are those are pretty nice as well much a little shorter easier to wield for a child um, these 1938 B model Red Riders are two of my favorite air guns. This one's a much older one. I feel like I don't got an exact date, but it's it's 20 or more years old, I think. It's uh, still shoots fantastic. I've redone it completely with boiled linseed oil, and it uh works great works really good uh, now this is uh, the first one I bought myself a while back and it's also it's had paint on it trying to do a winter camo that's mostly all wore off because it gets shot a lot I also redid this stock sanded it down and put boiled linseed oil on it I like the way that looks better um, you load these, I think most people know, up here, hold about 650 rounds of 4.5 millimeter or .177 caliber BBs. Uh, I prefer using the Daisy Steel Shot because the uh, copper ones get leave residue in the gun and I don't like that. <clears throat> uh, these cock a lot easier than the Crossman I did a video on. But they're plastic lever. Now I contacted Daisy and you can buy for like three bucks a metal lever to put on this. Which I find reasonable. I'm gonna get one. See how it is. This has a uh, adjustable rear sight and a front sight. I painted that so it was easier to see. These are, uh, they're actually really accurate. I, uh, been able to hit targets from my neighbor's yard into my yard well over 100 feet away with relatively okay accuracy. I mean, you're not going to be sniping or hunting with one of these, but they're very accurate for what they are. Uh... I really like the Red Rider series. These is only two of the ones I got. I got like five more. I'll do a video on those too. These are the ones that I've redone the stocks on with the boiled linseed oil. I like that natural would look better than the varnish. Uh, I think that's it. If you want a video on anything on when I get the metal lever or restoring any of these because I like to buy them at garage sales and fix them too. So if you want the videos on any of that or shooting, let me know. Because I will be more than glad to do a more in-depth, better review. This is just a quick tabletop review. I'm showing you some of the guns that I like. These Red Riders are very reliable. Very fun. Just go out there and plank all day for a couple bucks. This is John with Jay's Gear and Survival, and 
this is my Red Rider videos.